Hey friends, it's Carrie with eatingonadime.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a four ingredient dinner crock pot chicken alfredo. Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Carrie with eatingonadime.com and today I'm going to show you how to make crockpot chicken alfredo. Now before you come at me and say this isn't alfredo, it's a lazy day chicken alfredo. So it's super simple with one, two, three, four ingredients. So you just need four ingredients and it's super simple to make. If you were watching live or if you were watching this video, you can get the full recipe at eatingonadime.com. Just search um, chicken alfredo, or you can drop the word recipe below and we will send you the full recipe. This is day two of Croctober. So we are doing crockpot recipes all month long, and that means we're going to send them to you. So if you would like to get our 31 days of free crockpot recipes, if you say the word recipe below, I also included a link on this video. You will be able to um, get these recipes directly to your email completely for free. It's a win-win. Okay, so chicken Alfredo. Let me show you how simple and easy this recipe is to make. Now, the first thing we're going to do, any slow cooker will work. You do not have to have a fancy slow cooker. Your grandma's really old slow cooker will work amazing as well. Then we're going to throw in our chicken. I have boneless, skinless chicken breast that um, you could do this recipe with chicken thighs as well. I don't think it would work well for like a bone in chicken, but it would be delicious with chicken thighs, boneless chicken thighs as well. So we have four to six chicken breasts. We are going to throw in a packet of Italian seasoning dressing. So this is a mix, not actually the Italian dressing. It's just a mixed form. So what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle this on top. If you don't can't find this in your area, guess what? I have a recipe for a homemade version on eatingonadime.com. Just search Italian seasoning mix and you'll find it on there as well. We've got you. Now, if you don't even want to do that and you want to be even lazier, throw in a tablespoon of Italian seasoning and then some garlic salt be super simple and super lazy for you guys. Okay. The number one thing you need to remember with any of our recipes on eating on a dime is that they're very forgiving and they're very simple to make. I don't want you to have to spend a lot of time. I don't want you to have to spend a lot of money. So the ingredients on this like salt and it looks like garlic powder and stuff like that. So let's be really lazy. If you don't want to use this and just throw in a tablespoon of um, Italian seasoning mix, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, Italian seasoning mix, and then throw in um, some garlic salt, maybe two teaspoons. Okay. Now we're going to throw in two cans of cream of chicken soup. I don't cook a lot with the cream of soups anymore, but this is one of our go-to classic recipes here for you. Okay. One. This recipe is so easy. It's, it's practically impossible to call it a recipe. <laughs> Done. The last thing we need is cream cheese. One block of cream cheese. So all you got to do is you have two options here. You can either throw this in now. So right here in the crock pot and cook it on low or on high. Or what I tend to like to do, because sometimes cream cheese will curdle if it gets too hot. Now, if I'm cooking it on low, you're good to go. But today, since I'm cooking this much later in the day, I've got to cook it on high. So I'm not going to throw in my block of cream cheese. What I'm going to do is when I pull the chicken out to shred it, I'm going to throw the cream cheese in there and let it start melting and then stir it together to combine. Okay, if you need the recipe, just drop the word recipe below and we will send you the direct link or you can always go to eatingonadime.com and just type in chicken Alfredo. It's our crock pot chicken Alfredo. It's day two 
of our 31 days of Croctober. For those of you who don't know, we are going live every single day in October, and we're giving you these recipes completely for free in your email. So if you drop the word recipe below, make sure you sign up. It's completely free, and we will send you our 31 days of Crock-Pot recipes. As always, they're family-friendly, easy, and delicious. Okay, so all I have to do now did I plug this in? I don't think I plugged this in yet. I'll do it. But I'm going to cook this on high for about four to five hours. Shred the chicken. Melt the uh, cream cheese inside. And we're going to serve with fettuccine noodles. And I'm going to steam some broccoli. So that's how easy dinner is. This is not difficult. This is not hard. If you really wanted to, you could even mix these inside of the crock pot. But my kids really like spooning the chicken yummy sauce right on top. Now, inside the recipe, we even give you tips for like how to um, like thicken your sauce if it's too runny. Um, that's really easy to do with the cornstarch slurry. And we teach you how to do that completely on the recipe for you as well. So if you're not getting our emails, then you're missing out on our 31 days of free crockpot recipes. And if you're not getting our emails, you're missing out on our weekly giveaways. In fact, I'm about to sit, and, sit down and send out another email for another giveaway this week and it's a good recipe. So it's very simple and very easy to do. Okay, beautiful people, I'm out of here. I told you today's recipe is so simple, but packed with flavor that your entire family is going to love. Remember, drop the word recipe below. We will send you today's recipe as well as how you can sign up for our free 31 days of crock pot recipes. I don't want you to miss out. You guys have a great day. And I'll see you next time in my kitchen. Bye, friends. Thanks so much for joining me today. Remember, you can get the full recipe. The link is in the description. I've also included a link for our Crocktober. 31 days of family-friendly Crock-Pot recipes completely for free in your in inbox. You can get that in the link in the description below. I'll see you next time in my kitchen. Bye, friends.